Hello my beautiful MK Love fam, it's Melanie Kate Love here, the self-love makeover artist and I'm here to help you learn to love yourself, trust your intuition and manifest your heart's true desires. Now today I wanted to talk to you talk to you about a really important topic. It's a difference between coping versus healing. Now when we suffer um, from something that truly broke our spirit and it really made us sad for a while, when we cope, we don't actually heal and release that blockage. Instead, what we do is we carry that through to us day after day, month after month, year after year. When we just cope, we start to manifest illness and disease within our life. We become out of alignment. We become disconnected from our true authentic self, which is a tragic thing because when you are vibrating on the frequency of love, you are connected to your higher self. And then that's where you can literally manifest anything that you have ever wanted in your whole entire life, except when you're just coping and you're not actually releasing the blockage. Like you're holding on to the pain that you have suffered from when you were in year five, this is me, <laughs> from year five when I was bullied and someone said, oh, what did she say to me? That I used to, oh, there was some dance move. And she's like, I feel myself. It was like this dance move that we were doing and she took it way too far. And then everyone two years, um, two grades above me were making fun of me. It totally broke me down. And if I wasn't to heal that blockage, I would still be having weight issues, confidence issues, self-esteem, I'd be out of alignment, I wouldn't be my true authentic self, and I wouldn't be bringing the, you these self-love videos that I am today. Because when you cope, you just, you've got the pain and you're just getting through each day as it comes. You're not living, you're just, taking it one day at a time. But when you have healed the pain and you've literally felt that pain and you've got you've, you've cried out as much as you possibly can and you have no tears left and you've written every letter that you possibly could to, sur to surrender to the process and you've watched all my videos in my release blockages playlist on YouTube, you've written the letters, you've done the work, you've had the ceremony, you've released it, you've surrendered it to the universe and then that's when your body, it's like you feel like a sense of relief. The shoulders come down from the ears and you feel free. And it's like you've just taken off this mask and you've basically unleashed your true potential. You basically are becoming the person that you know you've always been destined to be. I know so many people in my life that are just coping, just coping. And I was like, that is no way to live. You deserve to live the best life you possibly can. You deserve to love yourself 110%. Love yourself so much, my loves, so that when the shit hits the fan, you don't just cope. You're like, okay, this is my pain, right. I'm gonna feel the pain and I'm gonna say, angels, I need you to help me through this growth and transformation time. I'm gonna surrender my worries to you and just say, I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I am where I am and it's okay because it's all that I've got. And I want you to take time to grieve, feel the pain because some it, it some of us just bypass that stage and be like, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. But then over the time, it kind of compounds together and then you just have this explosion. Either you get sick and you know, things just start going wrong for you, like left, right, and center. And I just wanted to urge you today, whatever came up in your subconscious as to what you actually need to heal, I want you to take yourself over to my release blockages playlist. I want you to work your way through them. The three videos I recommend are the ones with the stationery on the front. That's the letter writing techniques that I talk you through. There's three different ones. And I want you to make yourself a priority. Or if you're actually ready to fast track your progress with angel guidance, book yourself a private reading and I will help you through my angel guidance. Work out exactly where you need to release those blockages and how I can help you. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to remind you that you're wonderful, you are fabulous, you're creative, you are unique and you can literally 
Release anything that no longer serves you because it's going to help you set yourself free so you can vibrate on the frequency of love. The most beautiful place to be. I love you, I love you, I love you. Be gentle with yourself during this time because as we're healing, our soul breaks down, it rebuilds, and we become our greatest version. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to leave you with that. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Subscribe so you never miss, never miss another episode. And I will see you on Wednesday. I love you.